like this. And Sting turning the tables on Matt and Nick Jackson, the equalizer. For the Darby, Darby, a coffin. What up, gal? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. Wanted to get back on the AEW train, man. It's been a while since I've done AEW videos on here, man. It's been a little bit tough. Um, cover, trying to cover everything, man, um, for me lately. But uh, I really wanted to get back in the mix of AEW because I definitely said I was going to cover uh, Revolution. Um, so I wanted to get back in the mix, man, because uh, I think Revolution is actually going to be an interesting pay-per-view, man. I, I think on paper, maybe some people will see it outside of the Steam, the main event. Maybe they kind of see it a little bit mediocre, or Deanna Parazzo and Tony Storm. But um, I actually think it's going to bang. Usually the AEW pay-per-views, even when they don't look good on pay-per-view, always bang, man. Always bang. Because um, I went to All Out the week after All In, and... It, 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 like all out's car it looked like kind of soft because it looked you know because they put all that work into all in but all out was a banger bro like and the last two pay reviews are good wrestle dream and what was the one i forgot what the one in uh december was called that uh, a couple of months ago the one in uh new york bro that one was really good bro um so it's like every time aw i remember revolution last year looked at mediocre and Revolution turned out to be good. So don't don't doubt AEW pay per views when they don't look good on pay per view uh paper, bro. Uh cause they always deliver. But let's talk about uh Sting, man. Sting! Last dynamite appearance, bro. Um as it hit me yet with Sting, man, but I think it will at some point after Sunday, bro. Uh that he's not gonna be around anymore. But this was definitely a nostalgia moment. Him coming, uh, so basically the Young Bucks, and I've been liking the heel version of the Young Bucks lately. Uh, I always think the Young Bucks do way better as heels. I don't know what it is. They come off as natural heels to me. Um, they uh, came out. They saw some dudes in some stinger masks um, in the front row. We know these were plants because the way they had it set up. And then Darby Allen had a sting mask on too. They started trying to beat the brakes off of them, but it was a two-on-one. They saw the him there. Woo! Ric Flair comes out. He joined the Bucks. So, we were thinking he was going to work with the Bucks. And one of the things that they said on the commentary, Ric Flair is the dirtiest player in the game. Like, he could turn on you at any second. He turned on the Bucks and started going after them. But, he, man, he got a, a low blow. I forgot which brother did it. I think it was... I can't remember which brother did it, man. I don't know if it was... Uh, Matt and Nick, who uh, gave him the low blow, but that was all she wrote for Ric Flair. His, he was getting the beats. And then Sting, music play, right? And he didn't come out right away. They were looking for him. And the guy does the epic, 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 epic drop from the sky from the rafters with his uh, baseball bat. That was, uh, the crowd was really flat. In my opinion, that, that that crowd was not that was not a good crowd tonight. But for this segment, uh, they lost their shit. Um, I forgot where they were at. I think they were in Alabama somewhere. But uh, this is not a good crowd tonight, bro. Um, but they 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 you know they love this segment though. And, and Sting came from the rafters, did his thing, man. Got put the beats with the baseball bat. Darby Allen got back up, and it was smart because Sting got him from behind. He was near the ring, and the brothers went up to the stage because they were ready to go and give Sting the beats on the uh, on the uh, on the entrance ramp. So that was good, bro. Uh, I think they did a good build up for at least Sting um, going into Revolution. But let me say this though. Let me say this though. Let me say this though. I think Sting gonna lose this match, bro. I, I know it's a small song, but I think he's gonna lose the match, and I think he should. I think the Bucks being heels because I always look at it this way. When guys retire, that especially when there's a title on the line, I think they should always lose because they're not going to be here afterwards. There's no point in them winning the title. Like, if it was without the title, I think Sting could have easily won the match just for the first song song that way. But I think if Sting, I think Sting probably wanted to lose, and I think it's the perfect time for the Bucks. 
to get the tag team titles because the way their characters are prepared uh, are, are portrayed, they're they're on a wave right now. Like the Bucks are on a wave right now. I, I've like I said, they always do good work as heels, man. So they should get the tag team titles. I'm anticipating that they'll get them, and if they don't get them, I'm not. You know, it's 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 good either way. Whatever happens, whatever they do, it's gonna be good either way. It's going to be a good swan song for Sting either way because he's still going to get his moment after the Bucks leave because I, I think that's what's going to happen. The Bucks are going to leave. Sting's going to get standing ovation by this way. I don't know how they're going to book this match on the card. I don't know if it's going to be the, in the main event or in the middle because they got a big main event. We're going to talk about that next with Samoa Joe and Swerve. Let's get to that video next, but I do wonder where... That match is going to be on the card. Let me know where y'all think the match is going to be on the card. Let me know y'all thoughts. Should, should the Bucks win? Should the Bucks win? I think they should, bro. I know it's his last match, but I think they should win. I don't think it's the last time you're going to see Sting in wrestling, though. I think it's just in AEW. Like, obviously, he can still come back in AEW, you know, just as a one-time appearance or something. But I, this is on a full-time, regular basis. But I don't know if he wants to come back to it because the WWE failed him. So I don't know if he ever... Come back there. Um, TNA, he made a word. He made a, he made a mark there, but I don't know if he comes back there either. So it should be interesting to see what Sting does in the future as far as his return. Because we've seen we've seen it happen with Ric Flair, man. He he retired like two times and he's still around. So <laughs> we'll see what happens there. But go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. I'll get back to y'all on Sunday about this afternoon. Still like.